three bodies of water with the wetland, upper pond, and main recreation pond. Oh, I love the style. And this is kind of what your business is. Did you find a frog? Yeah. And we swim in here for hours. We've skated on it. Ice yeah. skating in the winter. So we're still in Sterling. We're in Sterling. Look at this house. Is that a stone house? It's a beautiful old stone farmhouse that oh. was completely renovated by the owners. Wow. And then you put a pond or a pondless? A pond. Natural swimming pond. Two years ago. Two years. Uh, three years. This would be two, the third season. Okay. So two, two, three years uh, ago, we put in a water feature. Let's yes. check out a beautiful aquascape oh, ecosystem so pond. Beautiful metal garden. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Look at this house. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm jealous. Look at these old bikes. And then this is the pond, huh? This is the pond. Okay, this never gets old. The thing that I love about my job is you discover, as I discover, the same things at the same time. So, wow, look, it's right in the big farm field here. Yeah. And you would never expect this to be sitting here. Wow, are they farmers? No, this is their country home. They oh. Have a, they have their business in this. the big city, in big Toronto. Okay, and so uh, this is their escape. This is and you escape. And you created the escape yes. for them. Why don't you go ahead and give us a little tour of this. Okay, great. So we built this beautiful natural swimming pond for a young family with two young children. This is their country residence where they come to escape from the big city. And we built this fantastic swimming hole here for them. Lots of flowers, lots of nature surrounding the pond. And we have this main swimming pond here. I'm standing here on the jumping rock. So as you can see from here, you can jump and see the deep end. It's about five feet deep. We've got also a staircase entry made from flagstone. And I'm just gonna walk around here to the bridge. This is the really nice pool house. Parents, John and Julie, sit on these chairs, watch the children swim when they're not swimming themselves. And then we have a little path here. We're gonna go through a bit of a jungle, jungle of plants. We installed these plants a bit like a screen to provide a bit of privacy while people are swimming. Here we have a bridge that connects the main swim pond from the upper pond. We have an upper pond here that's like the size of a hot tub and we thought maybe some people might not be comfortable swimming with fish so we made this little hot tub type pond with sitting rocks so you can sit by the waterfalls. We've got these waterfalls here on a wetland filter so I'm just gonna climb up here. So this is our beautiful wetland filter. Not only is it functional but it's also very pretty. We have a little bog plants here and then it empties here into the upper pond which flows under a bridge into the main pond and then from the bridge you can walk around the pond here again got some nice water lilies and we have our intake bay over here that feeds some bottom jets the wetland and the waterfalls so john what is the story with these bikes uh, yeah these are our country bikes you know they are very heavy and, and uh, <laughs> have lots of all the comforts that you need with the uh, big tires and stuff how did this whole thing happen i mean Ooh. whose idea was this was this Julie's or yours or both of yours or I think, I think both of ours you know you have a property with a nice size and nice garden it's it's one of those things water is such an important element yes the sound of the water brings so many different birds and fish and frogs and all those kinds of things so both you and your wife had the same kind of equally yoked on what to do yeah, too. and then how did you find lavish gardens well Karina we kind of stumbled across her because she has a Christmas market okay during her off season and when we went to the market she had beautiful greenery for sale but I noticed all of her gardening books uh-huh my favorite gardens okay so you're a gardener i, I love to garden yeah. it's your therapy because yeah. this is your country home so you get out here and you're not at the office or the we come here to work actually more than us okay so yeah. this is your creative area yes yeah definitely and um it's kind of just you get a lot out of them the more you put into it you get you know so much more back so with karina she helped us do our, our big meadow here which she did a beautiful job and then we just kept working together little by little and her approach to the pond is quite unique i think because as she approached it as a gardener then or you know then something you build pots right? yes so it's very plant 
focused in the way that the rocks are kind of obstructed by plants. I think it creates that illusion of it being almost a natural feature. It is a spectacular job, and now I'm going swimming. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids use it, your wife use it, you use it, huh? We all do, yeah, yeah. And Every many times per day. I love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of like your pool house, but a pond house in this instance. Kind of, yeah. It's a pool house, pond house, gardener shed. Can we kind of see from the inside? But yeah, painter yeah. studio. So was this built after the pond? Uh, it kind of happened at the same time because they, they reference each other. Uh -huh. But this was a small barn that was here originally, and we had the Amish dismantle it. Oh my and then goodness. We it. So it's all the original beans. And so you moved it from somewhere else? Actually, it was kind of already here. Okay. We kind of took it down while we were building. Oh, the I pond. love the style. And this is kind of what your business is. What's your business again? MJOLK and Milk Shop on Instagram. And you do furniture? We do furniture, yeah. We sell, you know, sell these chairs. We will put a link right there. Oh, okay. This is kind of, you can use this as a photo shoot, huh? Definitely, yeah. I love the kids. Did you find a frog? Yeah. And that's what yeah. it's about. All right, so we're going to go swimming, right, kids? So Julie, you were saying that the kids actually learn to swim here? Yeah, basically. You know, yeah, because they get to swim. Sometimes we can at least swim in here for hours. Uh, yeah. That's what I love to hear. That's what we love to hear, Absolutely. right? Yeah. yeah. So how did this all come about? You know, you and your husband both wanted something? Well, I mean, you mean our relationship with Karina? Yeah, and the pond. And like this, most people in your situation will put a swimming pool in. Why did you not do a swimming pool? Well, I think the thing about a swimming pool is that it's got a very specific purpose. And it's great maybe when your kids are young and they're really into it. And then they grow up and they move away. And then suddenly you're maintaining this pool that nobody's using maybe. And it's just got a certain, it's one look, whereas the pond, it looks good. You can enjoy it year round. It looks good whether you're swimming in it or not. Like swimming is actually inconsequential yes. at this point. It's just here. It's a beautiful feature. A swimming pool is one dimensional. Yeah. A recreation pond is multidimensional. Exactly, exactly. So whether we're swimming, you don't feel like, oh, I got to be using it. I mean, it is fairly easy to maintain. Okay. Like you have to throw, I don't even know, like all the chemicals, like the... You use biologies. Yeah, you yeah. don't do chlorine. You don't exactly. use chemicals in this. You have your fish, you have like, I mean, there is a few things that you add, but it's like so easy to just connect it, like the bag, and it, I don't know what it is. Beneficial Josh, like, bacteria. Yeah. So, so you have an auto doser on this. Yeah, an auto doser and an ion gen. Yes, and the ion gen keeps the algae down. The auto doser adds the beneficial bacteria that compete for the food source with exactly. algae. And you notice you don't have certain things running. It definitely gets really slimy and slimy. Which is why you keep the auto doser and yeah. the ion gen on. So I mean, yeah. but it's amazing how it clears it up. And yeah. Then, clean. Yeah, and then you have the waterfalls and they provide you know obviously they move the water around but also they're nice to look at they're nice to yes. listen to and then you have like the wetland up there and that's a filtration that yeah filtration. so it's all just like kind of natural because even if we were going to do a swimming pool we probably would have done like a salt water pool but it's just so complicated yes this is simple this, this is, is working with nature simple yeah and it fits your environment and your exactly, family exactly exactly and it's just something that we can enjoy indefinitely on so many different on levels so many le i mean we've skated on it uh-huh ice yeah, skating in the winter yeah, yeah. A very small, small skinny. Yeah, but <laughs> just something fun. But this is what kids do. They put their masks on, they blow yeah. bubbles, they catch frogs. This is how we grew up. Yeah. Exactly. As a pond builder, for us, when we learned how to swim in this pond, it gives our work like a whole different purpose. Yes. And it's just so gratifying to be building a feature like this that has such an impact on the family. Amen. And it's, that's what makes me so passionate about it and makes my job so amazing. Well, and you do amazing work. <laughs> this is an amazing pond. Thank you for this hospitality. Yeah. All right, so here's the bridge over our rec pond. The main pond is over here. You can see the jump rock there and the stair entrance. There's fish caves, lights, and bottom jets in that pond. The jumbo flagstone floor. Here's the main waterfall, this really cool bridge leading to the upper pond. It's a really cool place just to kind of hang out if you're not in the mood for swimming. It also has a secret little stair entrance under these plants here. You can see the waterfalls feeding this upper pond with another secret little waterfall over here. So it's pretty cool. There's like three bodies of water in this water feature. We have the wetland, upper pond, and main recreation pond. All right, I had to check out this stone house. Oh, big dogs. Those wolfhounds? Are those English oh, wolfhounds? Wolf oh. Oh, oh, wow. So cool. Those are the biggest dogs, aren't those? Those wolfhounds. They are. 
Yeah. How old are they? They're both four. Oh, middle age. Very oh, calm yeah. dogs. Very calm. Yeah. When was this house built? 1840. Oh my goodness. Did Canada even exist in 1840? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, there's a big window there and there's kind of the same, it's mirrored on the right there. And these were carriage doors. So this had to, a mud floor and they would bring the horse and buggies into the house, unload and then drive right through. So oh my goodness. Oh, wow. So we were like, well, by the time we got to it, it was just plywood, which is boarded up. And so we didn't make any openings. So we wow. thought, well, we'll put a big window here. And then the front, that's kind of our front door in the winter. This is so cool. And is this your furniture too? So, yeah, we sell everything. Yeah, we sell the sofas here. Lived in house, I love it. Really, really unique. Look at this guy, does he play? Come on. Derek, your turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I just got out of that pond and what I always say when I swim in an aquascape recreation pond is I always feel cleaner. If I swim in a someone's swimming pool or a swimming pool at a hotel or something, I get in a shower afterwards because there's chlorine or there's bromine, there's chemicals. This is biological. This is how we grew up. We grew up swimming in streams, rivers, lakes, ponds, oceans. And the fact that I just get so frustrated about is the fact that this is unusual. This should be normal. Why you would want a one dimensional swimming pool when you have have this is un I just don't understand it and this is why I do my vlogs I want to inspire people all over the world to live the aquascape lifestyle to build the aquascape lifestyle because more families need to discover how wonderful it is to be connected with nature